Hey, this is ES Einsteinium, and this video is about love. My question to you is who do you love the most? Love is a difficult thing. It can make us happy, it can make us sad, and can even make some go insane. It affects everyone, even those who you think only their mother could love. But that is still love. There are two main types of love, true love and covered love. Covered love is defined as a show of affection motivated by selfishness. This is the love that you have for your parents. When you're a baby, your mother and dad care for you and feed you, bathe you, put a roof over your head, and you give them a show of affection. That's covered love. Now, true love is more complicated. It's hard to put into words. I would say it's not wanting to be without them, when you're depressed when you're not with them. But why is it like this? Love affects us physically, emotionally, and mentally. Physically, we can get the feeling of butterflies in our stomach, a pounding heart, loss of appetite, your pupils dilate as you analyze their every feature, your cells start clinging together and become erratic. Emotionally, we have a huge rush and we want to conquer the world. Rationality seems to go out the window. It also gives us massive mood swings for when we are with and not with that person. Mentally, it is very similar to emotionally, but you start to think differently and act differently. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. But why does our body betray us when we need to look cool? A study at Syracuse University found that it takes only a fifth of a second for you to fall in love, and it is science that does this for you. On seeing that person, your brain goes through a eurofic high, and well, your brain goes into love mode, which looks a lot like a mental illness. Don't believe me? It's true. I mean, what sane person keeps the ticket stub from their first date, or checks their phone every minute for that text? Yeah. Another study at Delaware University shows that jealousy can make you blind. They gave women pictures of a group of men and gave them a target to find. They could all do it easily as well, how hard is it to find this guy? But then they were told that the men were rating women based on their looks. The jealous ones couldn't find the target anymore, meaning that they were visually impaired or emotion induced blindness. Also, a chemical cocktail like to take hold of you made of phenylethylamine dopamine and oxytocin. This makes you alert, really happy, and the desire to bond and attach to them. Also gives you that dizzy feeling. With this love potion going around your system, your physical functions seem to simply stop. Your hands get really sweaty and increases your heart rate, making you dizzy. Here's a tip. Don't hold hands till after you have eaten and calm down. This way you avoid that horrid sweaty hand moment. I find that the eyes are the key. Your eyes affect how your brain works. For example, direct eye contact means you're more likely to remember someone, even if you are four months old. Whereas if you just look at their features, it will have the other effect. Also, looking into someone's eyes for a long period of time stimulates oxytocin. Remember that from before? The love cocktail? So by simple tricks, you can stimulate love in another person by locking eyes except it relies on them at least liking you in the beginning. So, to recap, when you're in love, you're almost mentally ill, blind, your body functions seem to disappear. So why do it? Is love worth it? Well, it can boost your immune system, as why would your body want to make the person you love ill? It can make you physically fit as your partner is motivation. It can make you live longer as there is less stress in a healthy relationship. It can clear up skin as stress is low, stress induced acne is also low. It improves your heart as all that extra exercise from making you dizzy. It can reduce pain as being in love changes your perception of pain. But when you're in pain while holding hands with your partner, it changes it again so you feel even less. That sounds worth it. Living longer and happier in exchange for true love? Worth it. So, this is the eccentric scientist. That is love. Leave a comment about who you love. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe so you don't miss next video. Bye.